Okay, everyone, welcome to your weekly love reading. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, to all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And for this reading, I'll be using my very own Tara deck. Um, if you want to get a copy, you can check out the link below. It is now available in my Etsy shop. It's the Nomad Soul Warrior Tarot Limited Edition. And it's now ready for shipping whenever you place your order. All right. So let's see what can we get for Aries for this week. This will be um, you versus them right now. Okay. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. Okay, we have Five of Swords, the Tower, the Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, the Devil, the Three of Cups, the King of Wands, the Sun. Three of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, Death, the Three of Wands, what is this? Ten of Swords, wow. The Hermit, the Five of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Magician, the Queen of Cups, and the five of wands wow justice and the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck we have the page of cups wow for some of you this is a very new encounter you probably have just started to um get to know somebody and um you started getting not not just like one or two days but it's more of you started getting to know each other and um started uh, opening up yeah opening up to um each other emotionally i feel for some of you um this is where you reached probably um well most likely you know like a couple a few dates in right but I feel like um, there's been some, uh, quite a hiccup here. We have the Tower, the Death, and the Ten of Swords. So it appears like something has ended, something unexpected has happened, um, or somebody did not expect that the other party will do such a thing. A very common example would be like, when you just started to go to know each other and, um, Somebody may want to be more, I don't know, physical, you know, sexual, something like that. And the other party wasn't really expecting it. So um, the expectation or, or something has happened which is not, um, whereby the expectation of two people are not aligned, basically, which caused um, some hiccups, some fights, some arguments perhaps, or just disagreement, causing someone to walk away. And I feel like it's you, Aries. You may have left this person. You may have left the building. <laughs> and um, primarily because I feel like in this situation, you were looking for something more realistic, more real, or a connection where, you know, you, you want to see if it can go um, somewhere. Yeah, You're not just... Um, I, I don't see it that you are playing around it's more like you you know seeing that this situation could possibly or wanting to see if this situation could go um the distance or could go somewhere right so you would rather be alone you would rather be single on your own 
than be in any some sort of casual encounter. But something has happened here. Um, what I mentioned earlier was just an example. Uh, for some of you, this could be a fight, or or somebody has have, you know, have some uh, eccentric qualities. Uh, for some of you, it could even be addiction. Um, for some of you, somebody may have cheated. Yeah, we have the devil here. Somebody may have done something which is not um, acceptable to you. Yeah. And you know that this person usually would always go for, you know, what they feel like doing. You know, nobody can stop them. Um, yeah, but I feel like you left, you left them. Mm -hmm. And you also can tell, Aries, that this person wants you back or this person still wants this with you. Um, but for the moment, I see that you're probably just weighing things in. Yeah, trying to see whether would it be possible for you for this to still work after the incident, after that unexpected blow up. I feel like you're still trying, you're, you're gauging the situation, right? You're weighing things in. Um, and I don't really see you, I don't really see you going to be engaging, yeah? as much as of this time now this person i feel like yeah they have this tendency to be um they have this tendency to be alluring charming yes and um for some reason they could have some like mannerism habits uh whatever this is but it's extremely um well, not extremely, but we could just say probably inappropriate, yeah, for, for some, if it is, uh, yeah, for some of you. Uh, for others, this could be uh, due to some form of addiction uh, that this person have, um, that they cannot let go. They keep on going back to, to the same thing, the same habit, the same way of thinking over and over again. It could even be stubbornness, right, um, or that... For some of you, this could be a person who would always choose their friends over um, spending time with you. That's that's the basic example, right? And if you're wanting to, if you're wanting to have a a um, a concrete, realistic, or you're you're heading towards some form of commitment here, which I feel like that's what you're wanting, you would want to spend more time with them, right? To build together but this person have some um, habits which can be detrimental to the uh, relationship or connection you have yeah and um, I feel like they also feel the ending here that you may have left and they could feel it they could um, they are currently undergoing it mm -hmm. and they know yeah, that um, for you, you consider this an end. It seems like they know that when you left, you're done. And you're probably anticipating or, or waiting for new things to come your way, new people. I don't know. It's more like you redirecting your focus. And they can tell that. Yeah, they can tell that. And they know that you are not happy. They know that um, you left because... You may have felt betrayed, yeah? And it's just too much for you. It feels like you're done. They could feel that. Uh, what this person is currently doing is that they are taking some time off, yeah? Are spending a lot of time with their mind, with their brain, with their thoughts, with their feelings, and trying to understand too, you know, why they do such a thing. I see that this person regrets what they have done very much. Yeah, might even be crying at night for what they have done. It's really a lot of uh, regrets, I feel. And they are not even, um, they are not even uh, communicating with anyone right now. Mm -hmm. I see that um, their possible next action could be, um, to understand themselves better. 
Yeah, this is a person who needs more self introspection as well as you know to love themselves more. You know, sometimes they put themselves into this devil type of energy because they may want to escape whatever uh, situation, mindset, conditions they may have. Rather than facing the problem, they they divert um, themselves into into something else, right? But I do see that this person would try to really look deeper dig deeper go deeper right In, into themselves and um understand why they do such a thing and um why they feel such a thing right and whatever they're doing and feeling it feels like it has affected a uh, connection here which has really has a potential because i they know they know that um with you you're you're pretty good on your own you're you're stable you're doing things on your own you have your shit together and in terms of relationship you're actually looking for something good yeah something that you can really put your heart effort time money energy into so so long as it has a direction yeah so long as it's going somewhere right uh in terms of their feelings I see that this person has emotions for you and I do see that for some of you this person would surround themselves with friends with people like-minded people so likely they're friends right they're, they're the people in their community or in the group that they always go to and they would probably seek some um, ideas or they would discuss this situation with them so if they're with their um, friends like groups buddies and all they would um, I feel like this person would be sort of hear out yeah the opinions or, or thoughts of other people um, and that could be helpful for them to really understand what they are going through right now this person needs guidance <laughs> some sort of in some sort of way yeah or not necessarily guidance that they are kids but more more of they need to hear some views yeah because the more this person spends a lot of time on their own the more they can get too much into overthinking and they may not be very objective yeah they get into a point of of losing that objectivity in looking at things um, overall outcome for this connection I feel like what is meant to happen here will definitely happen so for this time uh, karma is bound to strike here so whatever this is we have the justice yeah so this is karmic justice playing playing its part right now whatever is ha whatever has happened here um, rest assured that karma will strike back yeah and um for now this situation is more of in the evaluation stage or just stay there you know there's some it's not it's not in a way that you're both waiting but it is where it is right now um and it is you for now you wouldn't see where this going because it's not it's not going to move anywhere it is where it is in the next uh, few weeks perhaps there would be some changes in in the situation but for now it is what it is okay there could be a possibility for forgiveness there could be a possibility for um uh reuniting with one another but that is yet to be found out i'm gonna leave it at that let me know if this resonates in the comment section and um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and don't forget to check out the copy of of my tarot deck nomad soul wire tarot the quality is really good you can check it out in my etsy shop link down below or you can follow me in instagram at nomad soul warrior um, you can also message me there if you have any questions about the tarot deck okay or you can go to etsy.com and search nomad soul warrior you will find this uh, listing for the deck bye aries